hear some screaming for this guy. Rodney Mullen. Rodney was absolute perfectionist, the fiercest competitor ever. I mean, he he knew every single minute thing he was going to do, exactly what his feet were going to do, the order it was going to happen. If Rodney stepped off his board or anything like that, he'd probably be devastated. Rodney was a competitor on an Olympic scale that I've never witnessed in my life. He was flawless, perfect, every time. Getting second to him was like getting first. Nobody deserved to ever take his spot. And that's when the rumors flew that he was practicing nine hours a day. And we're going, nine hours a day, how's that possible? When we would go on tour, he would just go out two in the morning. We'd, you know, arrive at the hotel. I'm going skating. Okay, dude. You know, we wake up whenever to get to the demo, and and he'd be creeping in, and I'm like, so did you find a place to skate? He's all, yeah, and I learned a couple tricks too. Made some 500 new tricks up, you know. <laughs> like the next demo, you're like, you just did all these tricks I've never seen you do before. I've been on the road with you for a month. Your shoes like you're unbeatable. You tell us, what's it take to be a championship freestyler? Um, I don't know. Uh, just my mind. Rodney was a really bright, sensitive person, but he was really cowed. I mean, he was like, almost like a beaten dog, and his nickname was Mutt. He was pretty quiet to himself, uh, introvert. Rodney was fucking crazy, completely, but in the genius way, like the mad genius way, the way, you know, those uber smart people are crazy. He could tell, you know, some historical facts, and but he literally couldn't, you know. How do you open this door? He stayed in the corner and did his own thing. And every once in a while, he would have this outburst of, we couldn't figure out what was going wrong with him. And I remember traveling with him, one of the many, many tours in the middle of literally nowhere, trying to get to a demo, as always, late probably, you know. I was like, I, I, I think I'm sick. I think I'm gonna throw up. What do you, what do you, Rod, what do you, what do you, what do you, motion sick? Would you eat something bad? All the above, it's, I'm gonna throw up. So he's doubled over. And he's doing, and we think he's like holding his stomach or he's feeling sick, he's gonna get out and he, you know, gets out and we think he's gonna puke or something. He takes off. He fucking takes off down the road, gone, out of sight. Did he have to go to the bathroom or? Where did Rodney go? We just waited and waited and waited. I don't know how long it was. It was, it was quite some time. I think the sun had gone down, I don't know. But I remember seeing the van. Those dudes were all looking at me like, <laughs> fairly unforgettable look. And then Rodney comes walking up, hey guys. You know, like Rodney way, hey guys. And you're like, hey Rodney, feel better? Yeah, okay, we gotta go. Shut the door and we go. No one said a word.